Job searching is the worst, but we totally get that. That's why we have eight tips to help you find a career that you love faster and easier. In this video, we're covering how to find your dream company, how to utilize your network, and even things like optimizing your LinkedIn profile. Stick around to the end because we've got free things for you. I'm Jack McElhone, Content and Production Associate here at Career Contessa, the only career site built exclusively for women. We drop content weekly, so be sure to subscribe and give this video a like if you enjoy it. Launching a job search is a huge task, but if you have an action plan, it's manageable. And with a great action plan, it's more than manageable. You can visualize your dream role at your dream company and just work towards that, shortening your job search by weeks or even months. Write down your strengths. Let's start with a brainstorming session. What are you great at doing? What do you like doing? Where do these two intersect? And what do you want to do moving forward in a job? Maybe you really love writing, and a strength of yours is analytical research. You're also super passionate about social justice. An intersection for these strengths and interests could be a policy analyst for a local politician, or you could write for a nonprofit publication focused on equal rights. Finding where your strengths and interests intersect is a great place to start to figure out what you want to be doing in your career. Update your resume. You're going to be sending your resume out pretty much everywhere, so you want to make sure it's complete and includes things like your relevant skills, your contact information, it's one page, and that it's aesthetically pleasing. Update your resume to reflect your most recent jobs and accomplishments, not your job duties. But remember, this is just the base resume for your job search. You're going to tailor your resume to fit each job that you apply for so that you can show you're the ideal candidate for the open position, utilizing the keywords from the job posting in your skills and strengths section, as well as in your cover letter. Double check your contact info. This tip is an easy one, but it's also super, super important. If someone doesn't know how to contact you, then they're not. In other words, if you aren't easy to reach, even if someone's interested in you as a candidate, you won't ever know and you won't get that interview. Double check that your contact info and your online personal brand in general are all updated and consistent. Your email and phone number should be recent and easy to find on your resume, LinkedIn, and personal site. Also, make sure that your voicemail message is professional and updated. Be sure that your voicemail box isn't full with messages from mom and dad, we all save them, it's okay, so that people can leave you messages if they are trying to contact you for a job. Optimize your LinkedIn profile. We often talk about having a job land in your inbox, but for a job searcher, that's definitely the ideal situation. But the problem is that recruiters won't be able to find you if your LinkedIn profile isn't optimized. Now's the time to go through and double check that you have a photo, a great summary or description, relevant skills for the industry you're interested in, and that you've made your profile open to recruiters. Be sure to stay active and engage with your network throughout your job search. You never know who will have a contact or know of an open position. You can also use LinkedIn to apply to jobs, which is another reason you'll want it to be updated with all of your relevant skills and experience. Utilize your network. You'll want to focus on two major steps when it comes to utilizing your network. First, reach out to your existing network and let them know about you, your skills, and that you're job searching. Attach your resume and provide links to your LinkedIn and personal website. Ask if anyone knows of any relevant positions or has contacts for informational interviews. Secondly, expand your network. Seek out people who work at your dream company or in a dream role and ask them if they'd be willing to chat with you about their experience, their career trajectory, or how they ended up where they are, and if they have any tips for you during your job search. We call this the informational interview. The key is that you're not asking for a job. You're just working on expanding your network. But in learning about other women's careers, you learn about yourself and what you want in your own career, too. Find the perfect company. As far as strategy goes, we recommend brainstorming what your perfect company would look like in an ideal world. What's most important to you? Whose mission ties in with your life goals? What kind of culture is a good fit for how you work? Do you like flex hours? Do you really value having paid family leave? Ask yourself these questions and start figuring out what companies tie in with your values. And then go ahead and see if they have any open positions that you could apply to that fit with you and your skills. Nail down your personal pitch. You're going to be pitching yourself to companies a lot in the next few months, and it's important that you can make a great first impression. 
you need to be able to explain who you are, what you can do, and how you're a solution to that company's problem. Start with nailing down your opener. This should be a wow first sentence that explains your skills, goals, and what sets you apart as an individual. In the key, it should open up the floor, so to say, for your audience to engage and ask you a question. So if you're an email marketer, you could say, I develop strategies to continually engage and grow email audiences to expand your company and exceed sales expectations. Prep for that interview. During your job search, you're going to be pitching yourself a lot, and it's really important that you're able to make a great first impression. To do this, you need to be able to explain who you are, what you do, and how your solution to that company's problem. You're going to want to start with some really thorough research about the company, the company's founder or CEO, and you want to engage and be able to draw comparisons between the company's mission and how that intersects with your own passions or interests. You've already updated your resume and nailed down your personal pitch. So after you practice commonly asked interview questions like, why are you looking for a new job? You'll be ready to make a great first impression and prove that you're truly the best candidate for the position. And as a bonus tip, if you're really ready to stay on track with your job search, download our free job search checklist so that you don't miss a step. That's linked in the description below. Are you currently job searching? Let us know in the comments below and tell us how it's going. We'd love to hear from you. If you think this video is helpful or you're excited to try out some of our tips, go ahead and give us the like. Be sure to subscribe because we drop new videos weekly.